Hello, my name is Levon Habosi and I'm a senior ECAD application engineer at Trimuc. Today I'm going to talk to you about two solutions we offer to customers. SolidWorks ECAD and MCAD design collaboration software and the electronic PCB 3D printer by Nano Dimensions. To do that, I'll take you through the process of creating your PCB boards using SolidWorks PCB. Then we'll import the Gerber files to the Nano Dimensions Dragonfly 3D printer. So let's take a look. SolidWorks MCAD ECAD software solution includes all the mechanical and PCB tools you'll need to design your PCB boards, such as component library wizards to generate footprints and schematic symbols to help manage your libraries, a schematic editor to assist in the drawing of your designs, easy to navigate ribbon technology with all the commands you need at your fingertips. It also has a bi-directional ECAD-MCAD collaboration tool to allow your mechanical engineers, your electrical engineers to seamlessly pass data in order to implement part placement correctly before design reviews. You'll be impressed with the robust PCB rules-based editor to place and route the PCB boards you're creating. Create manufacturing output generator to create your bill of materials, Gerbers, and the rest of the files needed for manufacturing. The Nano Dimensions 3D printer is a game-changing 3D printer technology which can import PCB files and 3D print a prototype board within hours ready for testing. With this new technology, you will have the ability to get your design debugged and tested before you spend huge amounts of time and money to get prototype boards back from the fabrication houses. As you see here, I designed my schematic and PCB with SolidWorks PCB. From here, we generated the Gerber files, which are necessary for manufacturing the 3D print. I imported the Gerber files into the Nano Dimension Switch software, and then set up and assigned the Gerber files and added the thickness and number of PCBs to be printed. And once this is completed, I created the job and sent it to the printer's queue. Once we have the print job set up, we kick off the printer to do its job. As you can see, the printer is now creating the PCB board by adding the conductive ink, and the dielectric ink in three micron slices. It will take up to 20 hours to print this particular PCB board you see here. Once it's done, your PCB product prototype ready to have parts soldered and tested. Oh, and one more thing. You're not just restricted to using PCB software to create your 3D prototype boards. With SolidWorks and Nano Dimensions add-in panel for your mechanical tools, you can create components and PCBs assign the conductive and dielectric materials, and then send it to the Nano Dimensions printer. It's a game changer. The future is now. I hope you learned some valuable information here, and be sure to check out the other videos we have on the Nano Dimensions printer. I'm Levon Habosian, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact me at the number you see below, and I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you very much for your time.